Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, this video here is gonna be specifically for the electric fan setup in the 94 to 96 B body LS swap. Um, as you can see, I do have dual fan set up. It is bolted up pretty clean, has the uh, factory shroud on it. Everything looks really nice. Um, before I get into wiring it and everything, I wanna talk about uh, what the best fan setup is. A lot of people on YouTube and Facebook and and uh, even on Google and finding a couple other forums for Impala SS forums and, and Caprice forums, they're gonna tell you to either uh, go with an aftermarket uh, fan setup and a lot of people are using the late model, well not late model, the 90s uh, Dodge Intrepid and Dodge, uh, I, I think, Stratus fans, and that's what these are right here. And the reason people are talking about these is, as you can see, they have the factory relays built onto the fan, so they're pretty simple to wire in and set up. But if you wanna go the absolute easiest route, make yours have a nice, clean look, and make it look as if it came stock like that, the best thing to go with, if your car already doesn't have the factory fan set up, is to find a 94 to 96 Buick Roadmaster, uh, Cadillac Fleetwood, uh, even the uh, Caprice. A lot of the Caprices come with the dual fan setup. Uh, mine did not. Mine was the B4U package, which means mine was the heavy duty towing package, meaning that it had a mechanical fan and one electric secondary fan. To get my primary and secondary electric fan set up. I went ahead and bought a 96 Chevy or a Buick Roadmaster, pulled the factory uh, primary and secondary fan and the uh, fan shroud that you can see right there, as well as the wiring harness. That's what this tape is on. It just plugs right in. The tape is just for me. Uh, I didn't cut or splice or anything. I just put that around her to hold some of that uh, cover on there but it has the factory plug and even if you have the one with the mechanical fan you will have this plug but instead of three wires or uh yeah three wires here you'll have two uh one being an auxiliary power uh and then the other two right here the blue and black going for the uh high and low fans yours will have just one which is the secondary fan and what you want to do is if you go to the junkyard or if you just want to go out and buy a whole parts car like I did, I picked up a whole uh, Buick Roadmaster with the engine, everything that was still in it. Running driving car with a bad frame. Uh, I'm in the rust belt, so we get a lot of rusted up cars for cheap. I got the whole thing for 200 bucks, so I bought the whole car. Just simpler to do it that way. And I fire, followed all the wiring up to the factory fuse panel and went ahead and just checked everything to see what was different. And honestly, there was absolutely no difference except for there was wiring going from the, uh, for the primary and uh, mine only came with the secondary uh, relay. So I went ahead and put the fuse in there and traced the wires. To activate your fans, you're gonna want to Pull your factory wiring harness from the Caprice or Impala SS and from the from the wiring harness that goes into the uh, fuse panel here to your factory PCM you will find at lt1swap.com you'll go in there and find which pinout there's two of them for the primary and secondary fan uh, goes to your PCM on the from with the LT1, your factory PCM. You're gonna cut those two wires, and then if you have a Gen 3 uh, LS swap, like mine's the 5.3, I went in there and clicked on 99 to 02, uh, 5.3, and uh, mine was a 2001, so I went to that link. Once I went in there, I got the wiring harness diagram for the uh, PCM pinouts, rather, and went in and found out which pins on the uh, 5.3 LS uh, PCM went to primary and secondary fan. Once I did that, 
I just cut the wires that went from the primary and secondary fan on my new PCM and wired them into the wires that are going to this fuse panel from my factory PCM. That's it, you just wire the two harnesses together and that's pretty much what you're gonna do with everything. You're gonna cut and splice everything from your factory wiring harness over to your new wiring harness, except for things that you don't need like I didn't go with EG, I, I have no emissions, I, I don't see a point in it. So I deleted my EGR, uh, my secondary O2s, well my rear O2s, I have the front O2s, I have the mass airflow sensor, I kept a lot of that stuff, but that's how you're going to have um, your, because your PCM, once it reads from the temperature sensor down here, uh, a certain temp, it's going to kick on, it's, well it's going to tell your fans, you know, hey, I, I need the secondary fan to cool on or kick on. And if, you know, once the temperature gets even higher, hey, go ahead and kick that primary on, which is low and then high. Uh, but yeah, the PCM tells which relay to kick on. And all you're gonna do is cut, like I said, the wires that go to your factory PCM to the fuse panel off and wire them into your new PCM once you go to lt1swap.com and figure out which pinouts it is. And I know you're like, well, why don't you just tell us? And that's because, you know, I don't, I don't know which uh, PCM you're using. Uh, 99 to 02 is different from 03 to 06. So I could tell you, you know, which, I think mine's like, I'm, I'm gonna say just a random, I think it's like pin 63 or 60, yeah, 63 or 67 on a blue connector, I think. I don't know, don't don't quote that. That's just a, literally a guess. But um, yeah, that I mean, that's that's literally all you do. Once you do that, your your PCM will tell your uh, fans when to kick on and off all by themselves. You, you don't need to do anything else. Uh, so that, that that's all it is. But yeah, like I said, the cleanest look, as you can see, the factory shroud looks great, uh, is to go with the factory fans. They're plenty big enough. And I, I even have the factory um, uh, radiator in there as well. So I, I like it the way it's set up right now. It, it To me, it's one of the cleanest looks and everything's factory. And if anything goes bad, I can just go right to AutoZone and say, hey, uh, I need a, a, a fan for a 96 Chevy Caprice, you know, and it, it, just order it that way. So I, I wanted to leave as much stuff stock as I possibly could just so if anything ever goes bad, I don't have to go everything aftermarket and, you know, and ever try to find everything. And so as many of the factory silver auto parts I could use from the 2001 that I pulled it from, I did. And as many of the factory 96 Caprice parts I could use, I went ahead and did that as well. But if, if you need any other, you know, information as far as the, the cooling system goes on the fans and all that, uh, if I wasn't detailed enough or if I didn't explain thoroughly enough, let me know in the comment section. Uh, I can comment back or give you my email and explain it through email or do another video or whatever you need.